Last week, the market sentiment turned sour towards the end, with the S&P 500, Dow Jones, and Nasdaq Composite giving up all the gains, a scale escalating U.S.-China tensions and worse than expected U.S. initial jobless claims, as well as disappointing earnings from Microsoft and Netflix seem to have contributed to the pessimistic tone in the markets. The U.S. dollar also faced massive pressure and the downfall seemed to have continued into this week. Welcome to the McTigmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Monday, we'll be eyeing the German IFO business climate as well as the U.S. durable goods orders. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swiss C pair, which along with almost all other major crosses, has been bleeding on U.S. dollar weakness. The dollar Swiss C in particular has dropped to the lows of March 2020 when COVID-19 was attacking the markets. If the pair is able to break below the key support level of 0.9256 on Monday, then we could expect the bloodbath to continue in a similar pattern as in 2015, when when the pair last visited 0.90. The lowest price this dollar Swiss pair has dropped in the past eight years is that of Black Monday in January 2015 when it dropped to 0.83. We're not currently expecting that to happen and the hard support is set at 0.87. Do you think the bearish momentum will continue this week? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.